Hey guys, how's it going? This is our first video of two in the implicit differentiation section of our Calculus 1 playlist, so welcome. We are going to solve a couple problems, easy ones, using implicit differentiation so we can understand what it is. And then in the next video, we're going to do three much harder questions. So let's go ahead and just get started. There's not much theory involved with this. The best way to learn this implicit differentiation is just to do it and see how it works. I'll, I'll explain a little bit about how we differentiate y in this case, but that's about it. So let's get started. Uh, first question is find dy by dx. Okay, so we want to find uh, y uh, with respect to x here. And we're given x squared plus y squared equals 25. So if you're given a function that isn't just, for example, one variable. So, um, you know, this is, uh, this is a function where there are two different variables and they're related to each other. There's a relation between each other and the function. And you want to differentiate with respect to one of the variables. In this case, we're differentiating with respect to x here. But we also have y. Okay, so that is a little bit, uh, a little bit different than what we've been doing in the other derivatives. And there's a special technique that we need to use. So, for example, this, uh, the equation uh, listed here in question one is actually a circle, okay? So I don't know if we knew that or not, but it's a circle with radius 5. And that is usually when we use implicit differentiation, when we have ellipses or circles or stuff like that. And uh, that's what we're going to be getting into more of in calculus and later calculuses. But for now, we're just going to work with this uh, fairly simple technique. And the goal of implicit differentiation, um, in this section at least, is to solve for dy by dx, okay? So we're going to isolate dy by dx, and we're just going to solve for it, and that's going to be what we're looking for. That's how we're going to implicitly differentiate. So let's go ahead and let's uh, differentiate this entire function here with respect to x, because that's what we're asked. So we want to differentiate y with respect to x. So we'll go ahead, and I'm just going to write out each step here that we do. So we're going to d by dx of x squared plus d by dx of y squared equals d by dx of 25, okay? So right off the bat, we know that uh, the derivative of the, with respect to x of a constant is just going to be 0. So this one, the derivative with respect to x of x squared, okay, we can just, just evaluate that right away, and we know that that's the derivative of x squared is 2x. So we can go ahead and just apply that, okay, right away, 2x. However, how do we differentiate y with respect to x? Now that is kind of where the, uh, the implicit differentiation comes in, okay? Because we're gonna have an extra term here. So it's essentially the chain rule, okay? We're gonna assume that y is the inner function, okay? And uh, we're just going to substitute, we're gonna differentiate y as if it were x, okay? So we're gonna bring the two down, we're gonna have two y to the two minus one, which is gonna be one, and then we're gonna multiply by dy by dx. Okay, so I'm gonna write that out. So we'll have d by dy of y squared times dy by dx, okay? So that's just, the, uh, that's just the trick here, okay? That's the trick, and that is just something that you have to, to uh, just, just put in there. You don't necessarily have to understand it that much. Just remember that if you're differentiating with respect to x, and you have a y variable, differentiate it as normal as you would x, but then just add dy by dx on the end. Simple, no problem. Okay, so now we're here, and if you'll recall before, uh, we just have to solve for dy by dx, isolate it by itself, and the, the question is finished. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we have, applying this d by dy, we have 2x plus 2y, right, taking the derivative of uh, y squared. dy by dx is equal to zero. Okay, I'm just gonna come over here, and if we solve for this, let's move 2x to the other side. So we have 2y, dy by dx equals negative 2x, and dy by dx is equal to, and then we just divide both sides by 2y, we'll cancel the 2's, we're left with negative x over y. Okay, and that's really the end of that, uh, that, that question. We found dy by dx. Now if we wanted to, for example, find uh, the equation of the tangent to the circle at, at a certain point, or something like that, like we did before with the other derivatives, we can absolutely do that with this result that we have here, okay? Because uh, if, you, if you remember before, the, um, the derivative is equal to the slope, okay, um, of a function. So we can use this term here if asked to find the equation for the tangent line exactly the same way that we did before. Okay, so that is the first part of the question done, or the first question anyway. Let's move on to the second one, which is a little bit trickier. 
Um, but it's essentially exactly the same uh, process as the first one. So let's just go through it pretty quickly. Okay, so we're gonna differentiate, and I'm not gonna write the notation out, I'm just gonna do it quicker this time. So we have x cubed, okay, so let's differentiate x cubed uh, with respect to x, so that's going to give us 3x squared, right? Plus, and let's differentiate y, exactly, let's pretend that it's x, okay, and we'll, so we'll bring the three down, so we're gonna have 3y squared, same thing, times dy by dx, okay, equals, all right, so now, what do we have here? Well, this is a little bit trickier, right? Because we have uh, a product of x and y, all right? So th we're gonna have to apply the product rule here. And if we remember what the product rule is, it's the derivative of the first one times the second times the derivative of the second times the first. Okay, so, or plus the derivative of the second times the first. Okay, so let's start with the first uh, term here, derivative of x, with, and that's all with respect to x. So the derivative of x with respect to x is just one. Okay, so we have six y, all right, plus derivative of the second, which is going to be one uh, times dy by dx. Remember, we always have to add our dy by dx when differentiating y with respect to x, and times six x, okay? So it's going to be six x dy by dx. So, well, what do we have to do here? We have to now, a, a, exactly the same thing as we did in the first question, solve for dy by dx. So let's go ahead and isolate it, all right? So dividing everything by three, so we can eliminate these threes and, and uh, start to simplify a little more. Let's just do that. Cancel those threes there. Perfect, okay. So now the next step in this, uh, in, in these implicit differentiation questions when we're trying to solve here is we want to isolate for a single dy by dx. We don't want two of them uh, in different terms. So what we wanna do is factor that dy by dx out. So in order to do that, a good trick is just to take the dy by dx's and move them to the one side of the equation so that we can factor them out. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move this over here and the x squared we'll put on the other side. Perfect. And we can go ahead and factor out dy by dx. Let's go ahead and do that now. So factor out y squared minus two x equals two y minus x squared. And final step is to isolate for dy by dx, right? So we can just go ahead and do that, that's simple. Divide by this term on both sides. And our final answer is 2y minus x squared over y squared minus 2x. Perfect. And that is that, fu the, that function's derivative, okay? We differentiated it implicitly. And just right now, these questions are asking for dy by dx, but like I explained in the first question, you could be asked to find the tangent of uh, the specific ellipse or circle at a point, and you can do that using the methods that we used earlier with derivatives, but just using dy by dx now, okay? So that's pretty much it for, uh, for these two simple questions. I hope that was clear, you know, what implicit differentiation is and how to do it. Come back for the next video because we're gonna solve three much harder questions on this. And I'm gonna show you some tricks, especially with inverse trig functions, which uh, can get tricky. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Like and subscribe and check out the next video. Thanks for watching.